Next is kinesiology. During a squat, which muscle action occurs in the quadriceps while lowering into the squat position? Which muscle action occurs in the quadriceps while lowering into the squat position? Let's look at our choices so we know the context of what the question is trying to ask. So we have A, eccentric, B, concentric, C, isometric, and D, passive. <laughs> we, out of all those choices, we know all, the, all those choices go together, eccentric, concentric, isometric. These are all types of muscle contractions, right? So I need, do need to rewrite that question. What type of muscle contraction occurs? So D, passive, is not one of those muscle contractions. So we're going to take D off. Eccentric is where you are contracting the muscle. We're looking at the quads, right? The quads go over the knee. So they attach at the tibial tuberosity, and then they go up. They extend up the leg, up to the hip. So what are your quads doing when you're squatting? And you can imagine. And if you're in the test-taking situation, you can go ahead and imagine yourself lowering down. So what that quad is doing as you are putting your knee into a flexed position, what happens to the quads is they will get longer. With the quad getting longer, we know that concentric isn't a, an option because when a concentric contraction happens, the muscle gets shorter. So we know it's not D or B. Isometric is when you are holding the muscle in one place. So when you're squatting, you're lowering down. When you're holding a squat, you're in isometric. You're in an isometric position. You're holding it, right? So I don't think that C is the option either. So it has to be A, eccentric, because you're using your quads to engage the muscle, to engage the quad, but at the same time, the muscle is stretching. The muscle's getting longer. So it has to be A, eccentric.